Hello my friends, Enrique here, bringing you guys another quick tutorial on Windows 11. If you like Windows 11, you enjoy it, but you don't really like the new context style menu. What is the context style menu? Well, the menu when you right click, for example, on the screen right here, or most annoying, when you're clicking into an icon. As you can see right here, you have everything into icons and not as it was before in Windows 10. So if you want to go back to the old version, how it was Windows 10, I'm going to show you how to do it really easy. You want to click into the search bar, type credit. It's going to go on one prompt. You want to click on yes. And in here, you want to go to hkey current user, expand that folder, software, now into classes and expand it as well. And here you want to scroll down until you find this folder right here that is called PLSID. Click on it and you want to expand it as well. You're going to see a lot of different folders right here. You want to right click and to create new key. This is going to create a new folder right here and you want to copy and paste what I have in the description down below. Press on enter and now selecting the new folder that you have just created, you want to create a new key and you want to name this one Improc Server 32. And after you have the Improc Server 32 folder, you want to double click into the default key value. And as you see here in the data, say value not set, you want to make sure that it's completely empty and click on OK. Now we set in data, not going to be nothing underneath. Now all that you have to do is close the registry editor and to restart your system. Once your system is restarted, you can see that you right now have the old context menu with all the options. And if in one moment you want to go back to the original Windows 11 style of the context menu, all that you have to do is to go once more into the registry editor and to delete the Improc Server 32 key that we created. And after that, you restart your system and you're going to have the original Windows 11 context that is pretty much it for this video. If you find it useful, don't forget to drop a like. And if you are new here, consider subscribing. I post tech reviews, tutorials, and guides. Thanks for watching, my friends. Like always, see you on the next time. Bye bye.